Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a couple ways to hopefully resolve wireless internet connection problems you have on your Windows computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward and easy tutorial for you guys to follow. So we're going to go through a few methods on how to hopefully resolve this problem. So the first one I'd recommend would be to open up your Star menu and you want to type in Device Manager. And one of the best matches underneath control panel that should come up should say, of course, device manager. You want to left click to open that up. Now for the network adapters area, if it looks like this, you want to expand the view by clicking on the little arrow next to it to expand the number of network adapters that are listed here. In most cases, there should only be one. And you want to right click on it. And if for some reason there's an option to enable it, you want to enable it. That means it is disabled. So if it says disable right here, that means it's enabled and vice versa. So we want to enable it if it's currently disabled. And that might have fixed your internet connection problems just by itself. Another thing I'd recommend doing would be to go down to our internet connection settings at the bottom right corner of our screen in our system tray. And depending on if you're using an Ethernet or a wireless connection, your icon is going to look a little bit different. It's either going to have different bars, like a bar reception on a phone, or it's going to look like this, like a computer with an Ethernet connection or an Ethernet cord next to it. It should all be about the same. It should have Internet access in the name of it when you hover over it. And if you don't see it down here, you might have to click on this upward facing arrow and find it in here. But you want to left click on it, but you want to right click on it and left click on troubleshoot problems. This will launch the Windows Network Diagnostic Tool that should hopefully begin scanning to see if there's issues on your computer. It's going to ask what kind of network problems are you experiencing. Now you'd have to just fill in to specifically what the kind of problem you're having here. So if you're trying to reach a specific website, you want to select that. If you're just having a different problem, you select that one as well. So again, you just would follow along with the on-screen instructions here. And you would see if it could help resolve your problem. So again, just follow along with the instructions. It will depend on what your setup is. Now, if your settings were disabled, so if we go back to the device manager here, and underneath network adapters, let's say this was disabled. And then we right clicked on the icon again, and then we troubleshoot problems. It will begin looking, detecting problems on its own. As you can see, the errors you're going to get are going to be a little bit different depending on what your setup is, because this prompt was definitely different because we saw we did not have a connection before and you might be prompted to try repairs as an administrator so you want to select that you might be prompted for administrator account permissions with a username and password if you are not using an administrator account and then hopefully it will resolve the problem if that does not work and I should point out you should restart your computer in between all of these major steps we're doing if that still does not work I would recommend opening up the star menu and you want to type in CMD and underneath programs the best match that comes up should say CMD you want to right click on it and then proceed to left click on run as administrator if you receive a user account control window you want to select yes okay so now in this elevated command line window you want to type in NET SH space INT INT another space IP Another space reset. So NETSH int IP reset exactly how it appears on my screen with the spaces. You don't actually spell spaces, you just have a space. And then you want to hit enter to run that. And it should take a moment, so you just want to be patient here. Okay, and then once that is done, I'd recommend running one more command, and that would be NETSH space Winsock space reset. So again, NETSH space Winsock, and then one last space reset. And then once you have it spelled out like I have on my screen right here, you want to hit enter. And this will reset the Winsock catalog, and you will have to restart your computer at this point. 
So I would recommend you restart your computer and then hopefully one of these methods have worked for you. And I would also suggest if you have a router or modem, I'd recommend turning them off and turning them back on again. So if there's a reset button or actually just go and unplug it directly from the wall. That'd probably be a good suggestion as well. And if that still doesn't work for you, I'd recommend performing a system restore on your computer back to an earlier time. And that still might work for you. So I believe if we include all these different tips I threw out there, it's probably about seven or eight different things you can try. And hopefully one of them will yield the results you're looking for. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.